Queensland's smoke alarm rules have changed. Here's what you need to know to keep everyone in your house safe. By 2027, all homes must install interconnected photoelectronic smoke alarms. You'll need one in every bedroom and hallway, or between a bedroom and rest of the home. If a story has no bedrooms, you'll need one on the most likely exit path. This means that if one smoke alarm sounds, all the smoke alarms in the house will sound, giving you and your household more time for action. If you're a landlord, you must install interconnected smoke alarms in your residential rental properties by January the 1st, 2022. Within 30 days before the start of a tenancy in a domestic dwelling, landlords and leases must test and clean each smoke alarm in the dwelling. If you're a builder or renovator, all new homes and renovations need to have new smoke alarms installed. They must be photoelectronic, interconnected with all other smoke alarms on the property, located on each storey, in each bedroom, in hallways, between a bedroom and the other parts of the storey if there is no hallway, and on a storey where there are no bedrooms on the most likely exit path. For new buildings, smoke alarms must be hardwired, but for existing properties, they can be powered by a non-removable 10-year battery. Regulations prescribe where smoke alarms can be located. For example, where practical, smoke alarms must be placed on the ceiling and not within 300 millimetres of a ceiling and wall corner, 300 millimetres of a light fitting, 400 millimetres of an air conditioning vent, or 400 millimetres of the blades of a ceiling fan. The regulations contain further requirements on where smoke alarms can be set out in addition to those listed. If you're a homeowner or occupier, check the date on the back of your smoke alarm. If it's 10 years old or fails any tests, then it needs to be replaced immediately with a hardwired photoelectronic alarm that complies with Australian standards. If your alarms are working great and are less than 10 years old, don't worry. Just remember to replace them once they're 10 years old, no longer pass tests or by the January 1st, 2027 deadline, whichever happens first. If you're a renter, your landlord is responsible for keeping your smoke alarms up to scratch. If your alarm is 10 years or older, or doesn't sound when tested, then your landlord needs to replace it with a compliant photoelectronic smoke alarm. As a tenant, it's your responsibility to test and clean each smoke alarm in your dwelling at least once every 12 months. To test a smoke alarm, press the test button. When cleaning it, check the manufacturer's instructions. Even with the most advanced smoke alarms, unfortunately not all fires are preventable. However, cover for flood, fire, bushfire and earthquake is included with Suncorp Home Insurance policies to give you a little more safety. Get $100 off when you quote and buy a Home and Contents policy online. Find out more at suncorp.com.au slash insurance.